this can just kind of show you how surgery can be unpredictable and somewhat maddening. This is a patient that had had previous glaucoma surgery and a Yamani IOL and had recurrent macular edema. And we gave her an Ozurdex mainly because triessence or interventional triamcinolone was not available as it was on back order. And sure enough, uh, this implant migrated into the anterior chamber. Now this causes corneal edema and decompensation and endothelial cell loss. So we wanna go ahead and get this out of there. I'm prepping it by putting in viscoelastic and these things just crumble. It's impossible to remove them with a forceps. So now we're trying to basically hydrate this thing out and it's just almost there. Um, and once again, if you try to grab it, it just falls apart. So we're going to try and flush it out. I mean, it is in the incision that we made, the, the slit knife incision. So we're going to put in a little more BSS. And what we see here is we're putting in the BSS. One piece falls back. But watch. We'll pause here. As you'll see, there was another piece hiding in the anterior chamber. And it's going to flip right into the back. So my first thought was, well, maybe we should just leave it. But if that doggone little piece migrates back into the anterior chamber, we'll be right back to square one. So we decided to go ahead and do a vitrectomy. Now, I do offset one of my sclerotomies here in ferrotemporally because she has a, uh, a filtering bleb uh, located superior temporally. You can see the schlerin in the vitreous from her inflammation. And probably just going in there and getting that schlerin out is helpful for her. But we're going to go in and we're going to remove this little last fragment. Almost like we do when we're removing some fragments of lens material. We just jam it into our cutter. You can see the last little piece just flips in there. Remove our cannulas and she did very well. Thanks for watching.